Oh, oh, how, are you? Yeah, how are you? How are you? You do! I know! I'm your favorite! Hello! <laughs> I can't say you either! You've gotten so big! Oh. <laughs> well, you excavated and she yeah. took care of it. That's so. right. See, I excavated you. That is so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, you've gotten so, so big! Mm -hmm. Wow, it's Thank great. Thank you, man! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aww! How are you? Do you remember me? Say yes. Do you remember Deidre? You do. Yes. That is so good. We were just talking about you. Yeah. Yeah, we you know, were just sharing how great you guys were to us when we were here. You know, and we you want down? You want down? Yeah. And it just comes natural, you guys. You do it every day. So. Oh, no. Look at that smile. Surprise. Okay. Get her on the stage. Keep in touch with you through her. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, bye, -bye. hey how you doing? Doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Hi. How are you? There he is over there. There he is. Oh my goodness. Hey, look, watch out. What are you doing? Hey, you remember? He's like, hmm. Wow. How little was he? 110. Amazing, huh? Yeah, 110. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Very good. It's all right. It's all right. Nice to see you. Nice to nice see you. She only has one minute. Okay. So we're going to start with her. Oh. Say hi. Hi. What you doing? You said yes. <laughs> Hey, wait, it's hard to picture. He's trying to figure out. He's like, wait, she was at the okay. house? I think that I just saw you at Christmas with your parents. <laughs> I think he's trying to associate where he's at and where you are. Yeah, just trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. See, I remember you used to wear that before. <laughs> you said, oh my gosh, you don't wear that when you come to my house. <laughs> no, I don't. No, 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 no. Do you want to climb up here? Do you want to stay up here? I don't want to come back down. I met him shortly after um, he was admitted. Rosie and Marcus, we've become close with our families in the NICU, and um, I think I became close with them because we had a connection with um, our God and our religion and things like that. But I just remember they were always, you know, there supporting Caleb, and that's how. Um, I became close to them, always answering questions, and they, they had questions, so I always answered as best as I could and as honestly as I could, which is the best way to treat our families in the NICU. When I first saw him, he was very premature, and babies that are born as prematurely as he is are very sick. They have respiratory issues, their lungs aren't developed, their GI systems aren't developed, they have issues that premature babies have. I remember working up to Caleb going home. It was a more of an intensive um, planning and educational issues and stuff because he went home on oxygen, a G2 feedings. So he had a higher level of care. So I worked with the parents setting up you know, their um, instructions and um, answering all their questions that they might have, supporting them as they um, started to get ready to go home with him. Uh, the day he went home, I remember going in his room and seeing him all dressed up in his tennis shoes and his little cute outfit. Uh, so it's always, I mean, I stayed there until he went home. And, you know, we love him while they're here, but, you know, it's nice to see him go home because what we work for, our whole purpose of what we do is to get babies home with their families. So that's where they need to be, and that's what we do. It means the world to me to have this family whole and... Caleb healthy and working on having a great life together and I mean this is what I do and when patients come back and family comes back then that is what makes my job worthwhile. <laughs>